Hello, hi. Have I talked to you today? Have I done a clip today? It's 5 57, 6 o'clock. I just woke up. I watched TikTok until I came across a video of this snowboarder who fell in snow face like and he was like upside down under snow and he couldn't breathe and like the skier was like desperately trying to dig him out and then I had to stop because I was way too panicked. My heart rate got way too high. Um, but my parents came over earlier today and look what's now in my backyard. You can't see it because of the water condensation that I need to clean, but chair. I'd go outside and sit in there today, but I think it's gonna rain, or it did rain. It's very dark for six o'clock. Talk to my tax accountant person. We came up with a game plan for quarterly payments. Um, still gotta bite that giant bullet. And the thing is, I knew it was gonna be a big tax payment. Like, if you guys saw me crying about it the other day, <laughs> now I'm like rolling my eyes a little bit just anxiety it like feels so suffocating all at once it's absolutely insane but i have some distance now we've talked it through um so i knew it was going to be big of a lot of money because i had a huge income year last year like we talked about i quadrupled my income i had in my savings six thousand dollars dedicated to taxes alone it was not enough so that's what i mean like I knew it was going to be big, so I had budgeted for big. I, wow, didn't budget enough. <laughs> Made up a pl game plan for quarterly payments, which I'm a little nervous because that even sucks more because I have to do the big tax bill, but then I have to do, like, at the same deadline day is quarterly for quarter one, the payment for quarter one. On the big day that I owe the big year-end taxes, I also owe quite a lot for quarter taxes, so it's just like, <sighs> I have an episode of our blooming youth to watch i think i'm getting close to finishing that one though um like i think it has today tomorrow and then i believe monday next monday next tuesday it's one of the ones that's live releasing so i think i'm watching are you human too i'm almost finished with that one as well but i've also been skimming a little bit through this one it's good but they dragged out one of the middle plot lines too long and i was getting bored so i skimmed through it to to get to the next. It's getting hard to hold my attention. I also am also thinking I'm not gonna watch any live releasing ones anymore. I say that, but there are a few good ones out there right now that sound really good. But I say that because I feel like when there are slow moments, like let's take Coke Do for an example, okay? I'm sure that drama would have been like, I, I, I rated it once one heart for me. So I think it could have been a three harder if I weren't waiting weeks for an episode that I wasn't going to love, do you know what I mean? So if I don't love it, I don't honestly look that forward to it. And if I don't look forward to it, that's not fun. Whereas if it's rough, I can force myself to sit through like and binge all of the episodes. But waiting, I don't know how, when Coke Do like first released. But I've been watching it since it first released. So two months? For a drama that I don't enjoy, it's, it's not good, it's not good. Anyway, I think I'm gonna take my, drink my cup of coffee, watch Our Blooming Youth, and then it's writing time. Friends and family, writing time! We need to be writing today! Oh, yeah! If people park in my parking spot one more time, I think I will blow a gasket. It's not theirs. You're not supposed to park in my parking spot. Today it's not that big of a deal because I don't have anybody coming over today. But twice now what has happened, my mother has come over and somebody is in my parking spot. <sighs> also, yes, I am in my top pants because I napped. Who would wear fancy pants while they're napping? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
writing time <laughs> for cleaning I also did a little bit of workout so hence the clothes change but uh now it's time to write edit oh uh, you guys so I went to the store and I came back hang on you're angled a little bit too high and I came back and I got my groceries and I like, got carried them inside and I went to grab the handle to pull the door behind me. I have, a, I have a screen door and then I have like a door door. And I reached behind me to close the screen door. <sighs> my hands came down on a wasp. So it stung me. And you guys, it really hurts. I haven't been stung by a bee since like, I, I don't know, when I was a baby, a kid, like a toddler. A very, 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 very long time. Oh, it hurts my hand. I don't think you can really tell on camera because I do have like chubby hands. But like it's swollen right here. It's all swollen. This, my finger right here is swollen. It stung me literally right here. It hurts so bad. It hurts so bad. Duh. But that wasn't even the weirdest thing that's happened to me today, uh, which that wasn't really weird. But this is weird, okay? I went to Kroger's, okay? And it's like... I guess not in my hometown, hometown, but it's my home area. And I'm always like wary of seeing people that I know, but I never do. But I look like this, okay? So I'm walking down the, down the aisle. And this man, he's probably like 27, maybe. He's walking opposite of me. And I don't, I look at him and I'm like, oh, I don't know this man. <laughs> and he's got like piercings, I think he had piercings if I was, I, I, I looked briefly because I looked at him and I'm like, oh, I don't know him. So I didn't like look. Shorter hair, you know, and as he's passing me, he goes, love the hair, Sarah. What? I, and I automatically I'm like, oh, thank you. And I'm like, I don't know you. How did you know my name? But he's already walking past me. He wasn't gonna stick around and chat. I'm like, you did just say my name, right? This is the weirdest thing. I'm like, love your hair. And then, and then I'm like, maybe he didn't say Sarah. And then I was like, maybe he said, love the hair, s what? Like I would, I, it sounded like Sarah. Like, I, this man, total stranger. I didn't recognize him at all. Like I have no idea who you are. I don't know this man. Oh, fudge nugs. I'm having a weird day. Got stung by a wasp. Saw a stranger who randomly knew my name. So I don't know. That's so bizarre. How bizarre. How bizarre. What is that from? I'm gonna look it up. I didn't look it up last time, but I thought somebody in the comments would know. Because, like, we are kind of on the same wavelength. How bizarre. Oh, it is a song? From 13 years ago? Is this it? I mean, I think I recognize the song, but is that what that's from? How bizarre. How bizarre. Why was that in my memory? <laughs> this has to be older than 13 years ago. Oh, copyright 1996. How did I know that? 2009 was 13 years ago? We don't need another existential Carly Rae Jepsen crisis. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good. I was waiting for you to ask how I was. How are you? In pain. Freaking wasps. Are you coming over today? I don't know. We gotta watch the Wizards of Waverly Place movie. Oh, okay. What'd your mom say? 
I don't know. She said something about taking your baking soda. Oh, she did? She's such a gem. She, what does she anticipate? I'm gonna be injured again. <laughs> Probably, to be honest. Well, you have to watch because you know how they can make a little tiny nest. Smash them whenever you can. Get smashed with it, bitches. Ah, I should have saved that one for mom. Oh, uh, you can use it again. Oh, okay. Pondre, you want to hear a crazy story? What? So, I went to Kroger. That's why I was even out of my house in the first place. Lesson learned. Don't go out of the house. You get stung by wasps. This no. wouldn't have happened if I had stayed inside. No. Life doesn't happen, you know, unless you go outside. You gotta go outside. Picture my hair, how it's like curly sometimes, you know, but like, like very barely curly, like wavy kind of, okay? In the same ballpark of ages, okay? Um, hey, um, hey. Hi. Oh. This is Sarah. Hello? I'm home. I'm in the car. Sarah, are you there? Are you doing a three-way call? Yay! Yay! Say hi to Sarah. Hi, Sarah. How's your hand? It's in lots of pain. Oh, Pond Padre, tee up the joke. Remember you said the tiny wasp nest? Uh -huh. <laughs> tee it up for me. I gotta, I gotta do it. Say that if I see a tiny wasp nest, I need to crush it. And I was like, yeah, crush it, bitches. <laughs> Every time I say bitches, you laugh. <laughs> I know, I can't help it. Morning. Hey. It's, we are under a tornado watch for the day. It's because it's like 10 o'clock and it's 64 degrees outside. Like, didn't even reach 64 degrees at all yesterday. Hopefully no tornadoes. Normally I have food first. Um, I guess I'm kind of hungry. I guess I'll just have some cereal. So weirdly warm outside. It's like 74 degrees. Um, so far, no tornadoes. I lately have been finding K dramas like by little clips on TikTok, and I saw a cute clip for My Father is Strange, and so I looked up on Vicky. It has 52 episodes, and they are all an hour long. I can't watch a K drama that's 52 hours long like why is it so long what kind of plot are you telling that you have to have 52 hours to tell it you know what i'm saying so it looks kind of interesting but 52 hours you must have multiple people you're following like multiple it must be a broadcast i changed my shirt because i just had soup and I am so hot. It is 67 degrees in here. I normally keep my place at like, like when it was cold and I could stay cold, 60 was my prime. But now it's 67 in here and I'm roasting. So, also I just finished hot soup. So like that'll do it too. It's two o'clock. I feel like I've been writing forever, but I'm pretty sure I've only been working for like two hours max. Hopefully finish this chapter. It's pouring, it's raining, it's getting dark. I need a drink of water since I just finished my lunch, but I opened my back door just to see if it was cooler outside because it's raining. It's not really, but oh, the smell. Oh, it smells so good. Hi guys, hello, hello. We're on my camera, not my camera, on my phone because my camera, I think is upstairs. I don't know. Anyway, it's my birthday today and I just wanted to make a quick clip talking, not this angle, just thanking you guys for just being here for me these past few years. I think we've spent four birth, four, three birthdays together now um, since publishing and um, I have this little headband <laughs> that I'm not wearing. I bought it for photos, but let's put it on now. Anyway, um, I... I feel really sentimental because I am just so like lucky that um I get to like that I was I, I don't I've been getting so much love today um from you guys just wishing me happy birthday congratulating me all this stuff it makes me really emotional every birthday because I don't have a lot of people in my life to celebrate with so 
like finding this community and seeing all of you guys just like dm me it makes me want to cry i think i have like 12 dms right now six people commented on facebook there's so many comments on my instagram sometimes i just feel really alone on my birthday before like before author tube and finding all of you amazing people online because like i said i didn't really have a lot of people reaching out um and like it's not that big of a deal i'm not saying everybody needs to w mention my birthday as a holiday i'm just saying that when it's a day that's dedicated for you and you don't have a lot of people to like you don't have a lot of people in general it can be really lonely but like this year and all the years since i've joined um author tube and bookstagram and since i published and found so many amazing people online i feel like I just never feel alone on my birthday anymore. I just want to thank you. So thank you for all of your birthday messages and posts and people who mentioned me in their stories and in your comments. I really appreciate it. Birthdays can be hard. Uh, somebody called them the birthday blues and I definitely had those um, in years past. But I have so many amazing people and souls and friends online that <sighs> you guys never make me feel alone. And I can't thank you enough for that. It's not a birthday if you don't cry, right? Although the tears haven't fallen yet, it's, they've just pooled. So is it really crying if they don't fall? And then I went to my grandma's this morning. She gave me these uh, these uh, placemats. Her aunt made them for her. And she said, they're my very favorite placemats and I want to give them to you on your birthday. I'm like, oh my gosh. So then I was I was about to cry. Look how cute they are. And then I picked out um, these two yellow ones. So, oh, I'm just feeling very emotional. My cheeks are feeling emotional as well. <laughs> but anyway, happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to anybody else who shares the April 9th birthday. My cousin does, we were born on the same day. Um, I was born nine hours earlier. Sorry, Katie. So anybody whose birthday is today, tomorrow, yesterday, Happy birthday to you. I hope you never feel alone on your birthday. Um, and if you do, message me and just say, hey, it's your birthday. Can you celebrate with me? And I'll celebrate with you. And we'll pop some confetti together. And maybe we'll, I'll go to Kroger for you. And I'll buy a cake and I will eat a slice. So if you ever feel alone on your birthday, reach out to me. Because <laughs> I will be, I'll be your birthday buddy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for just being my friend here, you know? So, giving virtual hugs. Ow, virtual hugs. I love you, and I'll see you later.